Hi everyone, Mr. Wright here, and I wanted to make just a quick film to explain to you how grey boundaries work in Edexcel IGCSE Maths, because it's all very well doing all these practice papers and working hard on all your topics and your revision, but you need to know how the marks you get translate into what grade you're going to get at the end of the day. Right, have a look at this table. This table shows you the average grade boundaries for each grade for the last 10 years. Now, of course, when you sit your exams, the grey boundaries are unlikely to be exactly as is on the table, but the table will give you a very good idea because as I say, each of these boundaries is an average of the last 10 years. So let's see how this works. You'll see that, for example, you need 145 marks to score a grade nine. Now that's 145 marks in total on the two papers. So each paper is out of 100, and so obviously there's a maximum score you can get of 200. You'd be very, doing very well to get 200 out of 200. And you need, on average in the last 10 years, you would have needed 145 marks in total on the two papers to get your grade 9. Similarly, you would need a total of 120 marks to get a grade 8. So you'd be looking at about 60 marks on each paper on average is what you'd need. 60%. On the first paper 60 percent on the second now yes you can get a whole load of marks on one paper and very few marks on the other paper as long as your two marks add to 120 or more you will get that grade eight or at least that's the average grade boundary for the last 10 years let's have a look down at the other end of the spectrum some of you might be angling for a four or a five some of you might be just pleased to pass with a grade four so if you are going for a grade four, you are looking at a total of 30 marks on average in the last 10 years, a total of 30 marks on the two papers. So that means that if you were to score 15 marks, 15% 15 on the first paper and 15% on the second paper, then you would hit that 30 mark grade boundary. So that's why these papers seem so tough for those of you who are going for grades four and five. The thing is, you need a very low percentage on each of the papers to hit your target grade. Just to labour the point, to get a grade five, you're looking at a total of 50 marks on the two papers. That's 50 out of 200. That's an average of 25 on paper one and 25% on paper two. So have a look at this table and it'll give you a good idea of what mark you should be aiming for on each of your papers so that you can hit the total that you want to out of 200 to achieve that target grade that you're after. Comments, questions, please feel free to use the comments on the film and of course I'll respond. Thanks for watching, I hope the film was helpful, see you in the next film.